Good morning, Saugus. I'm Sharon Uxell, and today is Friday, February 7th. And I'm Katie Garibay, and this is SNN. For today's fact of the day, we thought we'd introduce you to Daniel Hale Williams. Born in 1856, Williams is most known for his contribution in the medical field. In 1893, he became the first American general surgeon to successfully perform open heart surgery. Williams also founded Chicago's Provident Hospital, the first non-segregated hospital in the United States, as well as an associated nursing school for African Americans. In 1913, Williams was elected as the only African American charter member of the American College of Surgeons. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand, put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Congrats to Ashley Kang and Joseph Swanson for being accepted into the, into the District Honor Jazz Band. Also congrats to Academic Decathlon on their 10th and 3rd place wins in the LA County Regional Competition. Abigail Palomino and Niall Sakan respectively received bronze and silver in the essay category. David Kane received a gold in interview and a silver in math. Adam White received bronze in both language and literature and speech. Esther Palomino received a silver in science. Michael Sullivan and Brooke Risley both received a silver in interview and a bronze in speech. And Arya Sharma received a bronze in the speech category. Congrats again. The Wellness Center is open from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, it will be open from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you need to go to the Wellness Center during class, you need to see a counselor before being referred to the Wellness Center. Hollister is holding an ultimate prom contest. If Saugus wins, we will get a significant donation towards prom, as well as a large donation to our school's music and arts programs. You can vote once a day, and voting ends February 9th. For more information and to vote, go to the website listed below. Connecting to Success is a collaborative effort involving the Valley Industrial Association of the Santa Clarita and Hart District. The experience will give sophomores an opportunity to attend a business educational conference. There are new yellow permission slips that must be signed and turned into the AP office by next Thursday. Every Thursday, Millie and Little will be at Saugus High School to provide a creative arts studio from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m., where students can safely explore and express their feelings and emotion in authentic and creative ways. During this program, Millie and Little will set up in the ceramic room B206 with open-ended art materials for students to explore. If you are not feeling well or have injured yourself, you must obtain a pass from your teacher and head to the health office. Do not contact your parents and expect to be summoned from class. All freshmen and sophomores that need to be dismissed from campus during lunch must be signed out by their parent or legal guardians in the attendance office. Now let's go to our principal, Mr. Ferry, with a quick message. Centurions, today I want to talk to you about wellness. Wellness is a term we hear quite a bit. When I look at Saugus High School students, the one thing I will say when it comes to wellness that I, that I am concerned about is stress. And there's simple things we can do to handle this stress. At the beginning of the year, you receive the student planner. I have asked your teachers to use your planners at the beginning of the period and at the end of the period. Hopefully this is happening. If it's not, I encourage you to use your planner. This is a great way to handle stress. If you stay organized, if you write things down, that's just one page of my planner right there of the week, um, you're gonna find that you're able to chunk up your time more, organize your after school uh, time better, 
and you're going to find that it gives you a peace of mind taking control of your time and reducing the amount of stress you feel. I highly encourage you to use these planners beyond just writing things down. For me personally, I'll write down my weekly goal. What is it I want to accomplish this week? What does I want to do with my family this week on the weekend? I write all those things down. All the studies show if you write it down, it's more likely to happen. So I encourage you, I challenge you, especially right now with a lot of us having a hard time remembering things, myself included, it's imperative you get in the habit of writing things down, use your planner for you seniors going to college next year, even more important. My son was doing a great job in high school writing down his planner. He got away from it his first semester. He struggled a little bit. He called me up last week and said, Dad, I'm back in the habit of using the planner and uh, things are going much better. So it's a proven to work. Please use it, guys. Have a great weekend. Come to the game tonight. Now we're going over to Olivia for sports. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Olivia Kern with your sports news. Basketball will take on heart today. Boys varsity basketball plays at Saugus at 6.30. JV plays at 3.15 and Frost plays at 4.45. Both games are at heart. Girls varsity basketball plays at 5 and JV plays at 3.30. Both games are at Saugus. Frost plays at heart at 6.30. Good luck to all Centurion athletes. The next intramural competition of the year is here. The three-on-three -three You Can't Dunk Donuts basketball tournament will begin next week in the gym at lunch. Teams can, must consist of at least three players and have an appropriate team name. All students are eligible to play. Great prizes like Kane Brown tickets will be awarded to the winning teams. Go to the ASB office to sign up. That's all for me. Now back to you on the desk. Thanks, Olivia. The Santa Clarita Arts Association provides scholarships to promising student artists in the community. Students must be graduating seniors with plans for continuing their education in the arts. For more information, go to the website listed below or pick up a flyer in the counseling office. The Jacob Zamora Memoria Foundation Scholarship is for graduating seniors with a GPA range of 2.5 to 3.4. If you are interested, you can pick up an application in the counseling office. Applications must be mailed and postmarked by March 9th. That's all for today. I'm Sharon Exel. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Saugus today. And I'm Katie Garibay. Have a great day and a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.